Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be revisiting the battery charging test I did last week. This time we'll be focusing in more on battery ramp and testing out the new June update, version 1.2.1. .1. This version introduces hibernation mode, which I'm told is supposed to speed up charging even more, so let's test that. I have to admit, there is a lot of recycled footage here from last video, but it's the results that count, and I wanted to save some time to get this video out fast. To ensure valid results, we're once again going to have the same tightly controlled setup as last time. Again, for details on the actual device, tweaks, and charger used, check out the description. We'll be doing just three runs this time, the control, battery ramp before the update, and the all new battery ramp after the update. For each actual run, the ambient temperature was again controlled to be within plus or minus 1 degree Fahrenheit from 79 degrees Fahrenheit. The phone was discharged to 15% for each run with an to-do benchmark, and the battery level was allowed to stabilize. The test started once the internal battery temperature hit 35 degrees Celsius. Each time the device was charged to 80%, which is when the test ended. During the control trial, AOD was used to monitor battery level. This shutter had virtually no effect on the results, both since it's an OLED panel, meaning the black pixels are off, and since the number is so small. For battery ramp, the built-in battery monitoring was used instead of AOD at various increments. As a note, the control and the old battery ramp runs were recycled from my previous video. However, I did rerun the control off-camera to validate both the results and the fact that I had the same conditions for this new run, and it was within a few minutes of the previous control. A quick disclaimer, I was requested to run this second test by the developer to test out his new update. However, I was not requested to run the first test in the last video, that was completely my own doing. And even this time, I'm still independent of him, I'm not being paid or sponsored by the developer in any way. And as always, your results may vary greatly depending on your setup. So let's get to the runs. Run 1, the standard setup with the case on, this will serve as our control. Run 2, the battery ramp tweak, before the update with the case on. Run 3, the battery ramp tweak after the new update, version 1.2.1, .1, with hibernation mode on and the case on. Now, before we analyze the results, I spent my own money on this tweak and it took a lot of work to be this meticulous. It's also my daily driver that I used, so I'd really appreciate if you guys supported my hard work and smash that like button and of course subscribe. So we already know that battery ramp works from our last test with a savings of 36 minutes or 32% over our control, but does it work even better with the new hibernation mode? Well, unfortunately, not for my particular setup. It actually took 12 minutes or about 15% longer than before the update. However, this may be within the margin of error and variability between runs, so I wouldn't necessarily say it's made it slower either, but it certainly hasn't sped it up. That being said, it's still much faster than the control, and it's still a worthy update. The bug fixes and the addition of an optional clock are helpful. As I said, your results may vary greatly, I have heard reports of hibernation mode actually making a good difference for some people, just not for me personally. Overall, I'd still recommend this tweak, and for anyone who has it to update, as it shouldn't really hurt much. It just may not make it that much better either. I'm sure the developer will be working hard to further improve the tweak in the future, and at the reasonable price of $1.49, it's not a bad deal. At this point, 
it's your call whether or not you think this tweak would be useful for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.